Yeah, I'ma tell you how a bitch did it. Bring a weight back, I'ma start from the beginning when I finish. These bitches wanna try me, I pull up like a bitch. Doing. All right, so y'all know what's about to go down today in this video I will be showing the girls how to roll up and pearl your weed with acrylic nails now if you haven't go ahead and subscribe to my motherfucking channel and go ahead and click that like button because this shit is gonna be helpful because if you don't know how to roll up with acrylics baby girl baby girl baby girl baby girl baby girl I'm about to show you how to do it and mind you this is my way so first of all don't don't baby if my shit come out a way that you don't like it don't come for me because the reason why you watching this is because you can't even fucking roll so if my shit come out a way that you don't like it just know that this is my way but if you have acrylics this is a good um technique that you can use what you are going to need pretty much everything that you usually need where you need to roll up if you are rolling up with acrylics and you don't have a grinder bitch get you a grinder because you're going to need a grinder how the fuck you gonna break this shit down it's really hard to break down without your nails because when i don't have nails i usually use my real nails to crumple up the weed and break the crumbs in half like the little pieces that you can't really get to so that's why you're going to need a grinder if you have acrylic nails that is something that's more of a necessity now look everybody got their own preferences of what they like to roll in i'm from uh uptown washington dc and in uptown washington dc we smoke sheets and funnel and the sheets that i use that i prefer are what you call hemp bamboo sheets okay hemp bamboo i don't know if this can see if y'all can see this there are classics but we're not even about to talk about them damn classics because baby the classics are some shit we don't smoke classics no more i am delivered i don't like men no more i would highly 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 recommend that you smoke these because first of all they burn slower than classics they ash cleaner than classics meaning when you tap it out you're not getting a whole bunch of ash that you get from the bleach paper that you're smoking in the classics i think they're just all around better the people that live in dc y'all probably wondering where the fuck is her funnel at i don't i ran out so i had to use some for my friend last night so this is where my funnel is it's just inside of the sheet so boom what you're gonna do next is you're going to put your weed in the grinder. Some grinders grind the weed up it like really fine, other grinders don't. And you wanna make sure you get a grinder that really defines your weed up. Unfortunately, this is a piranha lighter, I mean grinder. Can you say magnetic? Just keep going. It don't grind up the weed all the way and it does not collect keef. You're gonna calmly sit that shit down somewhere, take your sheet, right you're gonna crumple the sheet up up is because it helps the, the j burn slower and when you have cracks and crevices in the sheet it allows the air to kind of go through and like burn it slower basically take a small strip take a small strip of the sheet and just peel it off i fold it you can't really see but i'm folding a tiny strip not too much not half of the sheet don't fold it in half and i'm gonna lick it that's what you're going to do, right? I'm pretty sure y'all females know this part. But let me just show you how a bitch did it. The fuck? So, I used to make this mistake when I was started rolling up. Not look for the sticky part. Then I'll just start rolling up. And then the sticky part will be on the bottom or some shit. And I've had to roll a J backwards. I definitely had to roll a J backwards where the, the sticky part was on the other side. You do not want to have to do that shit. That shit is unnecessary as fuck. Now, if you a bitch that like to put a lot of weed in your J's then by any means, dump that shit in. But I'm going to let y'all know that the more you put in this sheet, the more challenging it's going to be to roll. Me, I roll medium J's. I'm not a fat J type of bitch. <laughs> Baby, I'm yeah. not a Reese Cup kind of bitch. I'm an Almond Joy kind of bitch. All the time. I like fat J's. I enjoy them. But I'm not the type to be hitting that shit all the time. Like, my range and preference is a good 1.5 and a J. Maybe just straight gram. You have nails, so you want to be careful. 
So definitely be careful when you're handling the weed. You don't want to accidentally drop it and make it fall because you're trying to be dainty. Make sure you have a grip on that motherfucking J with these acrylics because at any type of turn or flip, you, you can drop the J fucking with acrylics. So at this point, this is where I will go ahead and put my funnel. The type of funnel that I smoke is Ivy City. But basically, you're going to get your funnel. Oh, yeah, what's up? What's up, funnel? That's some new funnel in D.C. that they starting to sell. They stopped selling the little shots for $1. Now shots for a funnel is like $3. Like they really be taxing for a funnel. Y'all remember the day when funnel was just a dollar? $2 at the most? $1.50? They, they see that motherfuckers in D.C. like funnel. So when you go to the store to get those little packs, they usually be a dollar. This shit is like $3, $4 now. So you gonna go ahead and sprinkle your funnel in. Look. It's too much funnel when you see more brown than green, okay? So you want to make sure you put enough, but not too much. This is the challenging part for most people, is putting some too much damn funnel in the J. I'm just moving the weed as far in the middle of the J as possible. Move the weed as far in the middle as possible so that you can bring your fingers on the side of the J and get in formation. Okay, ladies, let's for All right, so let me go ahead and zoom in so y'all can really see what the fuck is going on. Y'all don't need to see my damn face for this part. Weed. You're going to take your finger. See, I'm already messing up. I already got weed all on here, but you're going to expect that. So that's why you need a surface. Dancy as hell. So your thumb is going to be putting most of the work in when you have acrylics. So you're going to... Take the weed, you're only using these fingers. See how dainty I look? And I'm not even doing this shit on purpose. And you're going to take your acrylic, the tip of your acrylic, and you're going to tuck the weed in. Tuck the weed all the way in. See, I'm dropping this shit. The fold. Fold it. You're going to use your thumbs to really push and hold that weed. Use your index fingers and your thumb. Now, I'm not, I'm going, I'm not going to hold y'all. I'm not going to hold y'all. This J going to have a real big stomach. Like, it's going to have a really big stomach. Meaning, it's going to have a real fat center because that's just how the fuck I roll. I can't help it. So, you're going to try your hardest to push that, that stomach down in your J. But basically, you take the acrylic, you see that? This is where I do the roll. It's, it looks funky, but this is where you do the roll. You take your thumbs, use your index to tuck. You're using this part of your finger to tuck the weed in. You're using this part to tuck the weed in, right? So I'm using that to tuck it in. I'm doing the other side, tucking it in. You got to use your fingers to tuck this shit in because your nail's not going to do shit. So now I'm taking my thumbs and I'm rolling it. You got to use your thumbs to roll. Be slow because the weed is going to be ready to fall out. So don't try to be fast with it because it's going to fall out the size that you're going to lose even more weed. So I'm again, I'm using my thumb to press that stomach down because that's what's the main thing that you get when you have acrylics. It's a big ass stomach or you have a big fat ass baseball bat and it should be weird. So I'm trying my hardest to put that stomach in, pressing it down before I do the final roll. You get what I'm saying? So now I'm about to roll. Roll up. Okay. Now this is what you have. You got to hold it in place because it'll easily fall apart. Especially when you got a acrylic. You got to use your your fingerprints, like your fingerprints and the sides of your hands, like those areas to really you put in work. In this situation, I would say start in the middle and lick to the sides. So lick in the middle first. This is what you do. You start in the middle. See how I'm trying to fold it? Because this is it be falling apart, y'all. This shit really be falling apart. So. Mm -hmm. 
you start in the middle so that you can keep that that big old hump down so now that I got the J in place it's sloppy y'all it's not gonna be the perfect J but it's going to work trust me so I got the the stomach y'all see what I'm talking y'all y'all see what I'm talking about start in the middle and then lick it okay and I'm gonna just do that just press it down and this is where I go for the rest of the weed. It's a little difficult. This is the most challenging part because this is where the shape comes in. So you got the middle part. Start in the middle. Work your way to the sides. And see, I do have a little stomach, but it's not as big. This is the part where you you can feel free to, because now that I've secured the middle and the sides, it's not going to fall apart as much. So now this is the part where if you want, you can put some of the weed back that you lost. So now that you got the other sides um, secured, this is what I usually do So because it's a little loose. Y'all will notice that it is a little loose. Like if you like your shit real tight like a cigarette, the shit is a little loose. So what I usually do sometimes is I take the front and i clamp it you know clamp it in a way where you know like if you if you was to just shake this motherfucker the weed not gonna come out because that's what i'm about to do and then just do a light little shake just a light shake because you gotta understand the weed is it's not secured all the way in you only licked half of the j shut so you want to um just you know pinch it use your acrylic to pinch the weed and then do this. Lick the other side, but be careful. Okay. So yeah, the J is a little loose. And make sure you're not licking all, like, making that shit extra soggy. How I, how I roll up with my regular nails. Because this is not how I usually roll up. This is not what my J's be looking like. This is what an acrylic J looks like. So, I just secured it. Secured the last piece. Don't expect it to be too perfect, but definitely expect it to be smokable. So, I got the J, and what I usually do right after, take your lighter and harden the J. Because, for some reason, when you roll up with acrylic, the J be falling apart more. So, you want to make sure that it's secure. You want to put some, some fire on it to dry it, so that it won't unravel as soon as you lick it. So, I'm just doing that. This is what I have. Here's the shape. Okay, so after this, now you want to smoke it, right? It's already hard, it's ready. The side that has the bigger hole, which is this one, I put that to my mouth. And the side that's extra tiny and small, I pinch it and I twist it. I pinch it and then I do this and then I twist. You know how to roll with acrylic. It probably took you a minute, I bet. Because it definitely took me a minute. Practice makes perfect. Don't think that you're going to get it on the first try. Because, bitch, I got so frustrated. I still get frustrated rolling up with these damn acrylics. So, boom. Um, I hope y'all liked it. Valentine's Day and your girl about to go to Cheesecake Factory. So, peace out, y'all. I was born.